Well, good at, uh, well, good evening, everyone. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and today is Wednesday. And oh, sorry, Wednesday, the uh, June the fifteenth. And uh, today we're going to be talking about peace comes from God. Personally, I believe that you know sometimes our jobs can be stressful. Sometimes our lives could be stressful but I believe personally that we need peace not only in our physical body but you know mentally uh, emotionally financially psychologically um, spiritually but or, but in order to do that, we got to seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. To find, because He is the Prince of Peace, that give us true peace. So before we get started here, let's go ahead and pray first. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, for your peace. Thank you, Lord, for your um, Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for being endued in power by the Holy Ghost to not just preach boldly, Father, but to uh, do signs and wonders as as we study your word, as we apply your word into our lives. We, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your blood, cover us by your blood, and uh, forgive us of all, all our sins, Father, and uh, give us peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we're going to look at uh, a few scriptures here. Uh, starting with Isaiah chapter 9. Isaiah chapter 9. Verse uh, 6. And it reads, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, and Prince of Peace. And we know that that scripture has been fulfilled. Let's move on to the uh, New Testament. Uh, Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. Uh, verse 9. And it reads, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Hmm. Interesting. Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14. Verse 17. For the kingdom of God does not mean eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit or in the Holy Ghost in the King James. Last but not least, Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. Verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will protect your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Wow. So, we understand 
the true peace, sorry, the true peace comes from God. In the first point, in the first point I want to make is that there is no peace in sinning and rebellion towards God. There is none. And I have experienced this. It's nothing but the press. It's nothing but um, misery, sadness. Because you gotta understand what sin is. Sin is is transgressing the law of God. And when I came to Christ, God gave me peace through the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm glad for this because I know for a fact that God is calling me to make not only peace with myself, but to God alone and towards others. And, and sometimes there's a lot of chaotic stuff around me, but only God will give me peace. So sinning and rebellion, uh, rebellion is, 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 brings no peace. Not only that, it caused more harm than peace. And number two, I believe that Jesus will give us peace when we surrender to Christ. Because once we are surrendered to Christ, not only that we're going to be filled with His Holy Spirit, But he's going to fill our hearts to do righteous in his eyes. To give us peace in our, in our body and in our mind. All right. Amen. It is by his will that all believers, all kingdom men and kingdom women, have peace both in the physical and spiritual in our minds. We can't we can't be uh, we can't beat down the enemy without having peace, without having the empowerment of the Holy Ghost to fight against darkness. Because darkness is real. The kingdom of darkness is real, and a lot of demonic spirits are attacking people left and right. And we as soldiers of Christ have the peace of the gospel. You know, we, we, we wear the peace uh, shoes of the gospel. We, we wear our full armor of God. And no matter what territory that we conquer, just like in uh, Joshua, Jesus still be exalted in our lives. We don't boast in ourselves. We boast towards the Lord. And so it is our duty as soldiers to bring people the good news of Jesus Christ. And number three, my last point. Jesus give us peace, not only mentally, physically, spiritually, in any area in our lives. Because His peace is, is priceless to me. His peace helps me to realize that I'm not alone. His peace... It's filled with joy and happiness. Yeah, my job is being rough with me. But you know what? I go to my prayer closet and I ask God for peace in my heart, in my soul, in my spirit, in my, in my mental health. And, and I have a choice to make. 
It's going to be hard. But whatever the Lord wills, I shall do as a faithful servant. Even if even if God wanted me to be a missionary, I'll do it for the Lord. So, that's all I got for today, folks. It's, it's going to be short. It's going to be sweet. Um, but God is faithful. Amen. God is, God is faithful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.